Ready? Action! The truth is that the machines are coming. I think that means that we have more magic tricks to play with. AI in advertising is something that is talked about a lot. There's obviously a very clear set of opportunities that it brings. It's a very important car. It's a beautiful car. It represents the new face of Lexus. It responds to the driver's input almost intuitively. The ES has all sorts of technology which interacts with the driver to aid the driver. The intuitive features are based on safety. If, for example, you are on the highway, the car will recognize the lanes on the road and assist the driver to keep the car in the middle of the lane. The car would break for you if you were to not see something on the road. It's a sort of supplement to the driver. That man and machine working in collaboration sort of started the process of thinking about how could we make an advert that mirrored the man and machine element of the car itself. Wouldn't it be a great wheeze if we actually had an ad written by a computer? But I thought it'll never work in a million years. I mean, what nonsense. Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Will. We developed and integrated the artificial intelligence for the Lexus ad. I'm guessing you just turn the machine on, type, make advert, and boom, out comes the script, right? <laughs> if, if only. <laughs> if only. <laughs> We used a number of tools to extract every single bit of information we could from the last 15 years' worth of award-winning adverts. We were looking at what's the relationship between people and the vehicles and the use of the cars, the objects, the actions, the emotions. Every attribute that could be drawn from them was pulled into this data set. Using tools like IBM Watson gave us a great head start. One of the things that Watson really excels at is understanding emotion and being able to pick insight from that. We've developed a set of algorithms based upon psychology, based upon latest literature within the scientific community of how humans categorise emotions. And we've packaged that up into this block that would understand any sort of text that's fed into that and pick out the key themes of happiness, sadness, anger or confidence. When we started the project to create the advert, it wasn't just a completely open brief. It was felt that this would be a car that would be particularly appealing to intuitive individuals. In order to make an intuitive advert, we wanted to begin to understand what intuition was. And that's why we did the MindX experiment, to explore that in a very scientific way. MindX's purpose is applying neuroscience and psychology to the world of advertising. What is intuition? It's the use of unconscious emotional information in decision making. We did online surveys and then there's more behavioural testing where we actually had people come into the lab. We get an emotional image into someone's brain and we can measure how much that unconscious emotion affects simultaneous decision making. So for some people they can really utilise that unconscious emotion, can help them make better, faster and more confident decisions. We're learning some new insights about intuitive people. Their preferences for different visual aesthetics are, what they like in terms of music, voice characteristics, how they like to be communicated with. They have a particular appreciation for an emotional experience within an advert. So these results will be fed into the AI, which is going to help design the optimised commercial for intuitive people. Rather than tell the computer how to do something, we give it some resources and some training and then we set it loose to make its own discoveries. Once that data dropped into place, that was really the final step of pulling the project together, moving towards the final script. You're sort of setting off a process that you've not got that much control over, but I think that's where the best where it comes from. We felt a bit uncomfortable. We follow exactly what the AI has commanded, if I may use that <laughs> verb. <laughs> Were you nervous about what the final script would be? I think probably quietly terrified. <laughs> I'm sure you're really excited to see what the uh, AI's come up with, and we thought we'd let the machine read its own script. Act 1. Open with vehicle final inspection area at factory. Minimalist environment with nothing but the car. Under a geometrically pleasing arrangement of bright white inspection lighting. I think the most important is to say that the story is a story, it's like a movie. 
cut to relatively short dynamic driving scene featuring the same car, along a winding road on the side of a mountainous area with dark skies indicating a coming storm. I don't think any of us predicted it. The AI actually wrote an entire script. That was really impressive. It was a real script and it was very coherent. The car should initially suggest that it is sentiently bracing for an impact, the equivalent of closing one's eyes prior to a collision. Cut to end frames as per Lexus guidelines. I describe it as a dark roller coaster journey of an inanimate object coming to life. The fact it's written a story about a machine coming to life, I mean, that's. <laughs> I mean, like, uh... In a way, I want to sort of pat it on the back and go, that's quite funny, that. <laughs>